Hi, Microbe Hunter here. I cannot believe it, but it did finally arrive. I ordered uh, over two months ago, I ordered uh, this uh, microscope uh, to camera adapter and uh, it finally arrived. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show it to you. Um, I'm going to do a short review and uh, yeah, I'm going to also show you some pictures that I have uh, taken using, using this adapter here. Um, now, why did it take so long to arrive? Well, I ordered it uh, not over Amazon, but over AliExpress. Express. So this means I ordered it from directly from China. The reason being that it was significantly cheaper. So uh, I paid around uh, 60 US dollars uh, for this. Uh, so around uh, 50 euros or so. And yeah, it took quite uh, a long time and I was already uh, wondering whether the parcel got lost. Uh, but uh, a few days ago it finally did arrive. Um, now why did I order it uh, from China directly? You can buy these things of course also over Amazon. There are certain microscope companies and retailers that also offer this. They have rebranded it then. But I primarily ordered it because I there was I did not absolutely need the adapter, uh, but um, I simply wanted to try it out because the adapter that I currently have is kind of large and bulky. So I uh, decided if I've got this adapter and if it works fine, then I can exchange the adapter. Just want to show you the other one that I'm using. This is this one here, um, and uh, this is a uh, huge, okay, huge and heavy. And for convenience reasons, I wanted to use this here. So how does this work? Um, what you need is you need a digital SLR cam camera. In my case, I've got a Canon EOS here. And uh, this simply goes here on top. And yeah, and then you can uh, basically plug it into, um, into the microscope, either instead of an eyepiece, not recommended because it's kind of too heavy, or you put it on the photo tube um, on the top. Okay, and that's what I've been doing. Um, and uh, as to my knowledge, uh, currently this is the simplest uh, or one of the simplest and most straightforward ways of uh, actually connecting a digital SLR camera to a microscope. I'm going to first um, yeah, uh, do the following. I'm going to do some unpacking so that you know what you get. And uh, then I'm going to also show you the different parts here. And uh, it um, is like this that uh, because there are different SLR cameras, you have to make sure that you buy the, uh, the adapter with the correct uh, so-called T2 adapter ring. It's called a T2 adapter. It's also used in astronomy. Okay, so it's a standard. And uh, basically, um, I bought it together with this T2 adapter. Yeah. So um, let's have a closer look. This part now is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the adapter came in a small cardboard box. A thank you note was included as well. And uh, there are two smaller uh, cardboard boxes uh, in there. Uh, the larger one uh, contained uh, the adapter um, its itself uh, and the smaller wider box uh, contained the so-called the T2 adapter ring. Now this is the adapter. There is of course also an optics there and then there are two more smaller adapters. One, the first one is a C-mount and the other one um, allows me to plug it in into a stereo microscope because the eyepiece diameter is different. This here is now the T2 um, adapter ring. It's a standard uh, piece uh, that can also be used in astronomy and so on for people want to con connect a camera to a telescope for example yeah it screws on like this and then I realized that it's still actually loose um, and uh, unfortunately I could not find the small wrench it was included so I took my own I hope I did not uh, throw away uh, the tool uh, ac accidentally with uh, the plastic packaging um, yeah so this is uh, basically how it looks like uh, and uh, it uh, then goes into my Canon EOS so this is how it looks like um, these are the optics and the optics make sure that uh, the whole field of um, the, the whole camera sensor is, is uh, basically receives a picture. Yeah, so this here is now the um, adapter that uh, goes uh, over it so that I can use it also in my stereo microscope because stereo microscope uh, have, a, have a, a larger diameter. So yeah, without the adapter ring, this is how it would look like. Okay, so it means we put this one in here and then it fits without any problems. Um, not recommended all the time because uh, again, there is uh, too much weight um, on, on the microscope and the microscope might, might tip over. So it's better to actually uh, plug it in in, um, in, in top uh, on the photo tube. This now is my old adapter and in goes the new one. And you can see that it of course uh, fits without any problems and you can also see that it's significantly smaller um, and uh, a little bit uh, yeah, less bulky. So I now connected my camera. The camera of course uh, goes directly in there and it rests in there and it's held in there by its own weight. Now this one is again the original one. 
Yeah, um, and the original one does have the advantage that it uh, fits a little bit more snugly. So in case you um, want uh, to do kind of image stacking and so on, it might be an advantage. Yeah, by raising and lowering this uh, part here, um, this is part of the microscope, another adapter. By raising and lowering this part, you can make sure that uh, it's in focus, uh, both in the eyepiece and in the camera. However, with my old adapter, there is the problem that I cannot get it part focal. I cannot not get it in focus in both uh, eyepiece and camera, but with a new adapter it is in focus might be a small advantage not a big one but this one can be freely rotated uh, it's convenient in one way but on the other way hand um, yeah it might be a little bit unstable though so yeah again I'm just gonna show you how this goes on here of course it snaps snaps on and you have to press the button to release it again I mean it's just like uh, attaching a normal camera objective here yeah, so it's not not a big uh, issue, and uh, of course, um, also my old Olympus adapter um, goes on in the very um, same uh, same manner. Okay, and uh, by the way, one something you don't see is, is that there is an additional adapter ring from Olympus uh, to Canon. It's not relevant right now. I'm not going to compare these two. Okay, so because the Olympus one actually has the highest image uh, quality, so this is uh, what I've uh, taken using the stereo microscope using the old adapter. And uh, this one is now using uh, the new adapter. You can see that it's significantly more blurry. Um, the field of view is also a little bit larger. Um, it's more blurry even though it's actually smaller. Hmm, strange. So I put a piece of paper under it. So this one here is my original Olympus adapter. It looks okay. But then using the new adapter, it looks much less uh, contrasty and a little bit blurry so I was not happy I was really I was not happy it was a big disappointment that the new adapter really does not produce the results but on my compound microscope look at this here this one is now my uh, old adapter okay look at the corners okay the corners are fine it's a 4x objective okay and with a new adapter look at the corners it's a little bit blurry but overall the image quality is okay it's okay from a compound microscope now higher magnification, okay, that's the 10x objective. This is the original adapter, not the old one, the Olympus adapter. And this one is the new microscope adapter. And look, it's fine, it's fine. The, the corners are sharp. So this kind of reassured me a little bit that uh, it might actually work uh, for most, uh, in most cases. Yeah, yeah there's a higher magnification. That's the original, my, the old adapter, the Olympus one. And in comparison to the new adapter is a little bit uh, larger again, but here it is. Look, all, of, uh, all the way to the corner, clear. So the images are okay, at least uh, for the uh, compound microscope. So now what about the, the image quality? Um, I have to admit, uh, I did not expect a, a, a top quality, um, okay? Um, but the, the, the result is somewhat, how shall I say, differentiated, as one would say. Um, kind of conflicting, in other words. Um, when I connected this um, the camera using this adapter to my stereo microscope, I was not satisfied with the image quality at all. Um, the image was blurry, um, the contrast was low, and it seemed to seem to be some kind of internal reflections. Now, I was kind of concerned that um, maybe um, it's the optical system inside my microscope that's responsible so I changed this and I held it in put it in instead of one of the eyepieces using uh, using this adapter here um, and the image quality still was bad so for whatever strange reason um, the optics of my stereo microscope and these is somehow don't seem to work together at least to the extent that I was hoping it's kind of strange. Uh, when I put it into my compound microscope here, the image quality was generally fine, with the exception of the corners when I used the four times magnifying objective. That, that's also kind of a, a strange contradiction because only one of the objectives, uh, which otherwise produces a good image quality, uh, this, this one objective was blurry on, on, on the side using this here. Um, but the others were fine again. So um, what this shows me a little bit is, is that it, it does not only depend evidently on the, on the optical quality of the adapter itself, but also on how well the optics apparently of this adapter work together with the optics of the microscope. So it, it's a combination of both, um, I think. Otherwise, I could, cannot explain this. Um, there are 
also other possibilities. Uh, there are also other adapters that look kind of similar. They're not quite as as, uh, um, as thick here. And these adapters, they do not even have a um, an optic uh, op uh, optical um, elements here in front. So basically, the objective of the microscope directly projects the image into the camera. That's also a possibility. Um, have not tried this out yet, um, but um, because I don't have this adapter, I'm mean, going to 3D print one, or I'm just going to try to change this around here and take the optics off. But uh, then you have the problem if you do a direct projection is means that you do not have it in focus both in the eyepiece and also in the camera. But this system here is par focal. That's one of the advantages. So this means that uh, if it's in focus in the eyepieces, it's also in focus in, in, in the camera and you don't have to refocus. So you see uh, advantages and disadvantages. So my recommendation is generally um, uh, you got to try it out. Um, I don't know. It, it, there is, I think, uh, no way around it. Um, also, different people have different expectations concerning image quality and, and the uses and so on. So if you want to, uh, basically, if you already have a digital SLR camera around um, and you want to have a, a good way of connecting or a relatively low cost way of directly connecting a camera to the microscope, then I would definitely try out one of these adapters. Um, but in my case, where I already have uh, two of these adapters here, you see one here and one here, um, uh, I found that they actually actually work better they provide a better image quality um, yeah for whatever reason okay maybe yeah for whatever reason I, I don't know uh, I'll be honest uh, with you it's uh, probably because also the the optics um, of the Olympus adapter here are uh, compensating and are um, adjusted to, to the optics um, of the microscope but strangely enough this adapter also works much better on the on my stereo microscope which is of course a totally different system yeah you gotta try it out i guess um and uh, yeah just some food for thought i would say and i think i'll just leave it um, at that and i wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always if you like this channel um if you found this uh, useful please do consider subscribing uh, this way you can also support uh, microscopy and um, amateur microscopy online if uh, you see that there are lots of people interested in these type of videos then um this also kind of supports the amateur microscopy community a little bit. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. I think I already said that and see you around next time. Bye bye.